Just a decade ago, options for affordable electric cars were extremely limited. Today, with increased demand and exponential technological improvements, many more affordable electric cars are arriving on the market. Now, you can easily obtain a 200 plus mile EV for less than $30,000, including the tax credit. However, take all these MSRPs with a grain of salt as dealerships may charge significantly above sticker. Despite the recalls plaguing all Bolt models, Chevy is deciding to bring it back after a series of delays. GM is promising that production will commence on May 9. It'll arrive as a 2023 model, but it'll be very similar to the last. Before the recall setback, the 2022 Bolt EV was better than ever with a $5,500 lower starting price, 259 miles of range, and, arguably the most vital, a completely redesigned interior and exterior. Despite all the progress, the two areas some find issues in are the low fast charge rate in the FWD powertrain, but for $31,000, it's unbeatable in terms of range. If some tax credit passes, the Bolt could be a killer in GM's lineup. When the Nissan Leaf Plus was released for the 2019 model year, it was a strong competitor for the Chevrolet Bolt. Now with Nissan directing more of its resources to the upcoming Aria electric SUV, the Leaf Plus is starting to fall from its pedestal. Unlike practically all its competition, Nissan still doesn't offer a liquid-cooled pack in either the Leaf or Leaf Plus, which isn't awful, but just something to consider if you live in a hot environment. Also, despite being outfitted with an antidiluvian Chatamo fast charger, it has the best charge rate on this list at 100 kilowatts. Despite the Bolt EUV being the most affordable crossover on this list, it is still a highly competitive vehicle. Unlike the current generation Bolt, the Bolt EUV is 6 inches longer. It provides a far more substantial interior, available Super Cruise, without lane change, and many more available interior amenities like a panoramic sunroof and ventilated seats. What hasn't changed is the 150 kW front-mounted motor, which still packs a punch, but unlike the Mach-E and ID.4, there's no option for an AWD dual motor setup. The Kona Electric was Hyundai's first electric crossover, sharing its platform with the Kia Niro EV. For the 2022 model, the Korean automaker unveiled a refreshed body style, which looks far more futuristic than the older models. With an ambitious price, a decent interior, and an industry-leading five-year basic warranty, the Kona Electric is a great option. One drawback is its size. The Kona is relatively small for a crossover measuring in at just 165 inches. But, for $26,500, factoring in the tax credit, it'll surely be well worth it. That's it for today. If you found this video informative then give a like to this video also you can subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Till then wear a seatbelt and drive safe. We will meet in next video.